Hello, Taurus. Hope everybody's doing well. And you guys are in good spirits. This is who... Oh, okay. Who is this? <laughs> we're going to see who this person is that is in your energy. And we're going to lay our um, foundation here with some Romance Angels cards, guys. That was one. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Now keep in mind that this, this is relating to the other person. Their energy. Okay, let's see what this one is. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So this is probably probably somebody that um, that had some tough past experiences, or they had a tough upbringing, uh, something in their something something in their past has really affected them, and and how they maneuver in relationships, how they function in relationships. Okay. It hinders them. I feel like this is somebody that uh, self-sabotages. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. They may, be, they may have hidden things from you. Um, I'm feeling like this person put on a good face. But they were really hurting. But I don't know if you knew the um, extent of their history before you met them. <clears throat> Worth waiting for. Hmm. Divine timing is at work in your love life. It's the last card. And that speaks volumes. Somebody's working behind the scenes here. And not necessarily, well, more specifically, um, some very divine energy is going on. That major arcana energy that's exterior to us that we have no control over. There's there's something working to put you guys together somehow. Whether it's to reconcile fully as a couple or whether it's for you to um, get to a point where you can have an open and honest communication about what really happened between you and why. Okay? I'm going to use advice versus tarot for them. And we're going to see who is this? Who is this person? Who is this person? For some reason I'm drawn to that one. We have the Ten of Swords here. This is somebody that has felt betrayed a lot of their life. They put on a tough outer shell, but they're very soft inside. But I do feel like this is somebody that um, self-sabotages because there's nobody else in this picture sometimes things this is the vice versa tier that's the other side there's somebody there sitting there like you know has done this to them so I feel like you know if they made you feel like it was your fault they really didn't feel like it was your fault they may have made you feel like that while you guys were um, really dealing with each other but I think they know deep down inside that the issues lie more within them and their own experiences and what they've projected onto you. I think this person's aware of um, their own shortcomings. Gemini energy there. They're aware of what happened. Then we have the Two of Wands. But they've had a hard time seeing. <laughs> this is the thing. You know, the Two of Wands this way is you can tell that you know what it is that you really want to do and how to maneuver and you just are not making a choice this person's been stuck they've been living very a very backwards sort of existence um and like i said they may present well on the outside but this is them not truly being able to see things clearly Aries energy there. 
Hmm. I saw um, Sagittarius uh, Temperance. They've been working on themselves. They've been. I don't know if this person. I feel like at some point they saw a therapist, but I feel like this is a lot of self work. A lot of self work because before this person did not have a lot of self love. They've been hurt. This is the Ace of Cups, but they've been in dark in the dark most of their life. They've been living out of their um, lower vibration cells a lot of their life. Really not knowing their worth and projecting that onto other people. Needing to heal. Past situations, past circumstances, reconcile you know their feelings about whatever troubled childhood or whatever troubled circumstances that they've experienced. Water energy there. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And then we have the Ace of Swords here. I feel like this person always thought they were right. They always thought they were right. They always made you feel like they thought they were right. And they really felt like this. But again, everything was clouded with them. It was like there was a veil over them. This is the Ace of Swords on the uh, the brighter side of things like having this aha moment and, and being able to discern um, what to do in certain situations they were not clear they were not clear they didn't have the full story about themselves very kind of turned around I feel like this person is definitely doing some work on themselves here definitely but all their cards are on the reverse side I feel like they're coming into loving themselves they're coming into really being able to you know make right and just decisions they're wanting to let things go they're wanting to reconcile um, whatever thought processes weren't working for them before I see them wanting to do that. They're still a work in progress. Let me say that. I don't feel like this person's um, quite ready for a relationship. They're still working on themselves, but aren't we all? Okay, let's do some clarification here with. I'm going to find out what this deck is. <laughs> I forget what this deck is. Six of Wands. Hmm. This Leo energy there. I feel like they were always seeking uh, validation, always seeking recognition. Um, probably they were, when you were with them, it was like there was nothing that you could do that was enough, is how you felt. Nothing that you could do to uh, make them feel confident in themselves and, and love themselves. There was nothing you could do, if you're wondering that. Then we have the Emperor here. Definitely an Aries for some of you guys here. This Emperor is falling right on top of the Two of Wands. Very stubborn. Can be very mean. Can be very... Um, not mean all the time, but when they flip, they flip right um non-moving not able to see the other person's point of view very passionate though very attractive i feel like the sex was good between you guys but you you felt like uh, maybe that was all it was to your relationship here two of pentacles yeah that's them and then I don't know how these cards flipped over in here but um, we'll take them the two of Pentacles is not is juggling is and it's falling on top of the ace of cups not being 
secure, not being steady, um, and needing to basically get your shit together before shit just goes to hell, you know? And I think that's what happened with you. It just went to hell because they could not keep their emotions in check. They could not keep their mouth in check. Um, and I feel like you guys felt manipulated a little bit by them. But I don't think it was intentional on their part, though, is the thing. Then we have the Eight of Swords and we have the Six of Pentacles. This person, I think, they're slowly realizing what it is that they did wrong. Because they, they couldn't see it before. They could see it before here. They're thinking about stuff that happened in the past. They're thinking about how um, they really should have taken more time to approach things in a calmer nature. To talk to you about things. I'm definitely getting that um, this person values you guys here. They definitely value you. Okay, let's see what they really want with you guys with my tea leaf cards. I need to find my little bag for these because they're so hard to handle. You see, they are more than a handful here. So I'm going to pull from the middle of the deck so I can get or not because I was going to pull two cards for you guys anyway and they fell out. What they really want from you. Oh, three cards. Oh, you will receive a gift. This person really wants to divulge exactly how they feel and possibly apologize to you guys here. I'm feeling more of an apology, um, more of uh, <laughs> an adult conversation, having open communication. and tell you that they know that's the will great worry over nothing you will receive a gift that I feel like this person really misses you they want to divulge to you guys just how much you mean to them or uh, because you still mean so much to this person and I feel like you are the gift. You were the gift. Even. Then. And they knew that. But I feel like this person didn't know how to express to you that. But I feel like they definitely want to apologize here. And we have flute. Disappointment in a friend or a lover. They miss you. This person really misses you. I feel like this this they're wanting to have a conversation. They're wanting to apologize. But at some point, I don't know how you guys left this relationship, but there's something about how the only thing they hold you accountable for is not sticking with them. Something about through thick and thin is what I'm hearing here. So there's something also they want you to acknowledge. Not necessarily that you have to make amends, but I think there's a disappointment in them for their behavior. And they're also disappointed that you guys are not together and that you weren't willing to stick it out with them is a thing. Okay, so that is what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.